welcome dear student on my channel today we'll see about the structure of the eye first we'll see the structure of the eye from the outside and then i will dissect this eye and then we'll see internally how the structure is there about this eye this is a good eye so which shows a similar structure like the human eye now eye is eyes what it is a pair of the sensory organs of vision it is a located it is located in what in the orbit of the skull with the cushion of the fat around them so what we find here outside this what the cushion is there so along with that it is located where it is located in the orbit of skull shape of the eye if you observe that it is a spherical rounded structure and that's what is called as a eyeball upper and lower eyelid is present from the outside it is protected by the upper and lower eyelid while here on the side if you observe that here it shows a presence of some water the glands are present so these glands are there which are the lacrimal gland glands are there or the tear glands are there the moment of this eyeball moment of this eyeball is there which is uh, controlled by what the six sets of the muscles so here number of the muscles are there which are the total six sets of the muscles are there which shows the moment of this eyeball the lower the side way as well as upper side movement about this eye wall of this eye wall of the eyeball is there this is having the three layers one is a sclera which is a what the white portion we observe here this is what the sclera is there inside that another one that is a choroid and inside that the retina is there so once we we'll dissect this that time will come to know first we'll see about the sclera so sclera is what it is a outermost layer just now i said it is a outermost layer is there what we find is here the white portion is there it is a sclera it is a made up of what it is made up of the dense fibroelastic connective tissue this sclera is a made up of the the fibroelastic connective tissue which provides the attachment to the eyeball muscle so this what is the sclera provides the attachment to this eyeball muscles anterior anterior here in the front side if you observe that this is the presence of the cornea is there so it is a thick and it is a transparent it is a transparent part of the sclera that is what that is a cornea cornea is there it is a slightly bulged out so if you observe that from here the cornea is there which is a slightly bulged out this we can easily observe for what for what for the focusing of the light for focusing the light on the retina sclera is a provided this sclera is there it is a provided with the blood vessels but the cornea is there which do not show any what is the blood vessels here so it is a devoid of the blood vessels this cornea is there if you observe that this cornea it is a nourished by the aqueous humor so we once will dissect that we find inside that one particular substance is a present that is a aqueous humor and also by the lacrimal secretion so from here from the side the lacrimal secretion is a there so that's why it get the nourishment cornea is there this cornea as well as the exposed part of the sclera entire cornea as well as the exposed part of the sclera is there which is covered by the transparent membranous covering that is called as a conjunctiva so it is covered by the conjunctiva which provides the protection as well as a lubrication so this is what we observe that is about the sclera so here we can watch the from the outside how the structure is there so this about the sclera then about the cornea then about this what is the light brownish portion is there that is iris and at the center we find pupil so iris which controls the shape of the pupil depends on the how much amount of the light enters about the intensity of the light based on that the this size of the pupil either increase or it will get decrease so this what are the muscles we can find that this all muscles are there from the side okay so here six sets of the muscles are there for the movement of the eyeball from the down from the up or from the side way next to this here this about the the eyelid is there so here we can watch this skin thin skin is there which is about the eyelid I will try to cut the this eye from the front side. I will try to take out the cornea. Just now I said that the cornea is there, 
it is a thick transparent part of the sclera it is a anterior thick part of the this sclera it is a transparent slightly bulged out so this cornea is there which is a slightly bulged off for, for focusing of the light on the retina now this eyeball is there which is a little bit soft so difficult to hold so carefully we have to take out this i will try to take out this cornea but now this the number of the muscles are there which are coming in between so first we'll remove the this muscles and then we'll clear this whole eyeball and then afterward we'll try to separate the cornea so first let me remove this all the muscles are there which are coming in between so already we have discussed regarding this different type of the muscles six sets of the muscles are there which are helping for the movement of the eye in the different direction upper side lower side side way so this first we'll try to remove otherwise we'll not get the clear idea about the internal structure so slowly slowly we'll remove this first now we are on the back side we can observe that one particular the node is there that is the optic node we can observe on the back side now first i'll remove this all the muscles so we can watch that here this muscles are there which are provided with the blood vessels so back side of the this sclera so first we'll remove this all muscles we can clearly observe here the optic nerve is a present okay now this whole muscles are removed so here whole structure of the eyeball spherical eyeball we can clearly understand so here this is about the optic nerve which continue towards the brain which passes the signal to the brain about the vision what type of the object we observe it goes continuously towards the brain now i will try to take out this slowly i'll cut this so on the sclera only i'll take the cut once i'll cut inside that there is a substance this now the the aqueous humor is from the front side that is anteriorly present while the posterior the vitreous humor is a present so this substance is there which maintain the shape of the eyeball so this the humor what it is that i am removing first i'll take the cut the sclera and through that we can observe that inside the sclera the another region is a present that is a choroid and inside that the retina is a present so this whole substance we can observe that this is a coming out so along with that we can get the lens also because the lens is a dividing this in two regions front side that is anterior and uh, that is aqueous humor filled with aqueous humor and on the posterior the vitreous humor so now this whole humor substance is there which is coming out yes now here along with that the lens also we have received that will take out afterward first we'll try to cut this i'll make the two parts so anterior part and the posterior part of this eyeball so because of this the the aqueous and the vitreous humor the shape of the eyeball that is a spherical now it is removed so that's why it has changed the shape half of the portion is now cut it now we are will continue so that we can get the the anterior portion along with the sclera and the posterior portion we can get the clear idea how it is there inside also okay so now it is totally separate we can understand that here the anterior portion and the posterior portion 
So, this is the lens what we have observed here the lens is there regarding the lens we will discuss afterward. Now, this is a frontal region along with the pupil iris. So, this black portion is there which is about the iris this is about the lens that also will keep aside. You can observe that this the lens is there which is a transparent through which the light passes and which falls on the retina. This the slimy substance humor is there which maintain the shape of the eyeball spherical shape about the lens. Now, this is about the inner side what the colorful structure what we observe that is about the retina. So, this retina is there it is a innermost it is a delicate light sensitive layer it shows a blind spot also area diagonally opposite to the lens from here the optic nerve and the blood vessels leave the eyeball the rod and cone cells lie deep into the retina so this all blood vessels and the, this is the optic nerve which continues towards the brain. This is about the slimy substance. Now, here about the lens, which is transparent, and this is about the iris, which is having a different color. So, iris which shows a, at the center, it shows a small hole through which the light goes inside and falls on the lens. So, I will try to remove this iris muscles which are the pigmented colored partition is there which is a perforated, perforated in the middle. So, this is about the cornea along with the sclera it is removed. This is about the iris just now I said it is a perforated in the middle by aperture which is called as a pupil. Muscles of the iris help in the regulating the size of the pupil depends on the intensity of the light. So, this shows a different type of the pigments which determine the color of the eye. So, these pigments may be different color may be a black may be brown may be a bluish color. So, based on that we say that the person which is having the cat eye or the dark eye or the blue eye. So, this about the cornea and the sclera together. Here this is about the center the cornea which is a transparent portion is there which is actually get donated not the entire eye. So, here we can observe that this is the cornea is there which is a central portion it is a donated not the entire eye just now I said it is clear part of the eye. Corneal transplant require a functional retina and the optic nerve to restore the vision. This is about the iris. So, on the back side, on the front side, if you observe that it is a brownish color, depends on the type of the pigment. At the center, we find the pupil is there. These are all muscles are there about the iris, which gives the color to the eye. This is on the back side, all muscles are there about the iris. So, which are having the different colors based on that the color of the eye is there. At the center this the small hole which is a pupil. Now, we will see the lens. So, about the lens just now I said the lens is there it is transparent it is a elastic biconvex structure. It is a suspended in eyeball by the suspensory ligament. So, the suspensory ligaments are there which maintain the shape of the this particular lens. This lens is there which divide the eyeball into two regions the anterior and the posterior. So, this is about the, the behind portion of the eyeball. So, inside that just now I said having the retina which shows the presence of the now here the node is there nerve what are the nerve cells are there 
which are coming coming out from that optic nerve so these are the muscles are there it's about the sclera then the here at the center the pupil is there so pupil of the goat it is a rectangular shape or in case of the human it is a circular shape at the center of the back, back side of the pupil we observe that the lens is a present how the light passes through this now we'll try to arrange this first i will arrange the this the iris and then and the center i will keep the lens where the pupil is present now try to arrange this at the center we can observe in the small hole is there that is a pupil it is a rectangular in case of the goat so this is about the goat eye but in case of the human it is a circular in case of the goat it is a rectangular shape which allow them to see the danger approaching from their peripheral regions but in case of the human being it is circular so here we keep the i'll take out the first the sclera and the now here at the center i'll keep the this lens actually this lens should be behind that iris now above that i am keeping the this the sclera along with the cornea and this way how the structure of the eye looks you can watch clearly so this way we can get the clear idea about the, how the eye looks like this is about the retina this is inside that inside this the half portion of the eyeball is there so i'll keep this the vitreous humor this is about the whole eye again we can watch it so sclera then at the center we observe that here this is about the iris at the center the pupil is there so this iris maintain the shape of the pupil through which light passes now we are both the eyes we can observe that the moment of the eye which is uh, adjusted by the eye muscles six sets of the muscles that in the beginning only we have discussed depends on that the moment is in the upper side lower side or in the side way so this way we can observe the both the eyeballs